Hello peoples of the internet, I'm Mo and I am here today with a book review. So the book that I'm going to be reviewing is Monstrous Little Voices. This is a fairly recent book, it just came out in January and I requested a copy from the publisher for review and they were good enough to send me one. So I get to be doing this review video for you guys. So I was very glad that they sent me that and that I was able to read this because it sounded really interesting. This book is an anthology of sorts. So it's five different short stories written by five different authors, but all of these stories are fantasy stories that take place in the world of Shakespeare's plays. And one thing that I found really interesting about it was that even though these were written by different authors, that the stories are connected. And not only are the five stories in this collection connected, but they've sort of connected different of Shakespeare's plays together. And so you get characters from different plays interacting together in the same story, which I found really interesting and really amusing. So in one of the stories, you have Don Pedro and Benedict from Much Ado About Nothing fighting Macbeth, which was interesting <laughs> um, and a lot of fun. And then you have a story which is actually about Shakespeare's wife and Shakespeare, and she like discovers multiple realities and it's kind of meta. And then there's other stories that are more sort of like secret history style. So it's sort of the story after the story and what was actually happening during the original play that doesn't come through in Shakespeare's narrative. And so I found all of these to be really interesting takes on the original stories. I didn't know all of the original stories. I think I knew three out of the four or five that were uh, mentioned in here. I haven't read all of Shakespeare's plays yet, so I didn't get all of the references, but I did get some. And I found that the ones that I had read the plays for, I did enjoy more than the other ones. So I would definitely recommend this for people who are familiar with Shakespeare especially, but I don't think that it's necessary for you to be familiar with the plays in order to read this collection. Thematically speaking, these stories, I don't know if I want to say all of them, but a number of them dealt fairly heavily with gender roles and especially considering that the time that a lot of these plays were supposed to be taking place, there was a very different set of conditions for how women were treated and what they were allowed to do. But if you've read original Shakespeare plays, you know that he also plays with gender roles a lot because all of the actors were men, but he had to have some of them dress up as women, obviously, or there wouldn't be any women in the plays. And then he also has characters who are women who are dressing up as men and back and forth. and. So some of those characters do appear in these stories and the and authors really do use that to sort of play around with gender roles. Um, and also using some of the fairies that appear in the stories who appear in different forms at different times and you're not really sure who or what they are and there's this whole thing about does it really matter. Also these stories contain a lot of just really great strong female characters who I really enjoyed. So if that's something that you look for in a book it's definitely present here. I did like some of the stories in this collection better than others, but overall I think that has more to do with my preferences and the types of stories that I like to read um, than in how the stories were actually written. There was one story that I did find quite confusing right at the beginning because it has a lot of characters in it, which isn't something that you get in most short stories because you just have to get to know everybody really fast. So the first few pages of that I was just trying to figure out who everyone was but as I went on through the story, I did find it really enjoyable. Overall, I think that it was well put together. It was really interesting and it is a way to sort of introduce yourself to some different fantasy authors who you may not have read before. So if you like Shakespeare and if you like fantasy and particularly if you like both, this might be something that would be worth picking up. Let me know if you guys have read this. I haven't heard anybody talk about it or if you've read anything similar that you think I might enjoy and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.